Body and voice, Carlos Robeson. You, you see this boy? You, you see this boy, he, he's beautiful, ain't he? I glance down to see a cutout of an obituary and she tells me I, I named him Sunshine and, and they took him away from it 18. She had this twitch, this heroin addict itch that a few of us may be able to tell all too well and I hadn't had the inspiration to write in weeks. My friend Blues and I, we had come to DC for the evening and I simply couldn't sleep. So with my last $10 in my back pocket, I figured I would go buy someone else's dreams. Figured I'd walk around downtown till I found someone who I could pay to tell me their story and I had settled on the side of this cement concrete wall when I heard her beautifully broken voice sung at the top of her lungs as she come walking around the corner, this crazed woman singing, you are my sunshine, my only sunshine. And, and, and you made me happy, baby, when, when skies are gray. But, but you'll never know, dear, how much I loved you till til they came, took my sunshine away. She told me her story, all 64,000 sins of it. She said she used to sing in a band, blues, R&B, jazz. She said she fell in love with the male lead singer, new boyfriend, band leader, Dope dealer. She said he was like an unregistered acupuncturist because he taught her to stick herself with needles that way they had something they could do together. She said they nicknamed heroin, sunshine. Confess when she found out she was pregnant for the first time, she quit all of that cold turkey. Only to give birth to an addicted baby, she said there was nothing in this world more scary than watching her own infant shake from withdrawal. And as the radio in the waiting room played, she first heard a Stevie Wonder song that said, you were the sunshine in my life. So I'll always be around. You were the apple in my eye. Forever you'll stay here in my heart. Hardly a picture perfect relationship, you know? She's been using the sunshine in her veins so long that it keeps her from watching the sunrise. And this new addition to her lifeline has caused her to rethink and to realize that her love for her infant has replaced her love for that junk, so I named my child Sunshine, she tells me. H have you ever noticed that sometimes black people catch a hard time for giving their kids funny names? The funny thing is I, I wasn't trying to be different. I was just trying to survive. And even though my son may have been addicted as an infant, he, he never had problems walking or, or talking or learning. He was like God give, giving me a second chance. I didn't touch junk after that because he was my greatest reason to stay clean. But then not long after her son had turned 18, he was walking home when a drunk driver in a new Mercedes jumped his car off the curb and wrapped it around her son who died in an instant while the driver was flung off and landed somewhere safely in the distance and then she started to laugh. She laughed this evil laugh like I've only ever heard in the addicted, the afflicted, looked up to me with her two big, beautiful, motherly instinct eyes, half whispered, half whimpered. <laughs> I, 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 I guess that's the way the Mercedes bends, huh, baby? I, I don't think God ever meant for me to have a child. I, I think he always wanted me to be addicted, so, so I took out the rest of my retirement fund, and I'm, I'm going to live my life like this. Heroin, smack, uh, sweet dreams, sunshine. Y'all, I told her she was like an addicted angel who fell from heaven and just happened to have landed in a bed full of needles. She looked back and said, child, the, the closest I'll ever get to heaven is if someone runs out of sunshine and I have to settle for angel dust. I, I, I think fate wants me to be here. Y'all, I, I just wanted to hug her till the blood started to flow back through her visibly collapsed veins. I wanted to love all the demons from her. And selfishly, I just wanted to be her sunshine.